Welcome back to Fable the Lost Chapters. Okay, I looked up information. I missed one step on finding the thing. I forgot you have to actually go up to Maze's room and search some bookcases in order to get the damn sword. And the sword is actually called Avo's Tear. Uh, so let's see. And... Okay, I just found it. That that information I just skipped by. It explained all the information about Avo's Tear. So that's all I missed. Now I have to go down to one of the graves and examine it. Then I get the sword. I don't know why the hell you can't get the damn sword without search yeah, searching the bookcase. And it's this one, isn't it? Um. Commander, blah, blah. Okay, I examined. Maybe that's the wrong one. Is it this? Oh, it's this one. Okay. Yeah, that's stupid, see? <laughs> we see that you have a pure heart and have sacrificed ultimate power for the good of our land. There's apparently a glitch that you can actually keep the uh, the the, the uh, sort of aeons, and the only way to do that is to get it during the fight, then hero save, then reload your file while you have that sword. Fight Jack again because hero uh, hero save not hero state hero save starts to the quest all over again. Then you have to fight him again, and you still have it, so you get a second one, then you have to sacrifice the second one you get instead of the first one, and you get to keep one. But they're really the exact same, so if you look at them, the stat bonuses, the augments, and everything, they're the same. And this one is technically stronger than the Soul of Great Sword, but it's only stronger because it is faster. The actual damage per hit. Solo's Great Sword is stronger. And a health augment. Let's see. This one has health, mana, and experience augment. So it's kind of helpful for anyone that wants experience and those augments and likes using fast weapons. But I actually don't like using fast weapons on this game. I don't know why. For some reason, fast weapons are harder for me to use accurately, while the slow weapons are much easier. And for some reason, they're just. They seem to be more accurate when I actually swing them. Uh, let's go ahead and use this. Oh, really? Where do I have to go then? Because those are the evil things. Oh, I gotta go to Hook Coast. Okay. Let's go on over to Hook Coast. Roll! Hook Coast! Right there. Hook Coast! Going over here to Hook Coast! Yay, Hook Coast! Load in. There we go. There's a guy there. Yay. Town's been evacuated for some reason. Are there still enemies here or something? I don't remember. Um, you could probably run around and steal stuff from the shops and buildings since it's evacuated. But I guess you could have done that when there are enemies running around as well. I don't know why I didn't bother taking that opportunity, but... Oh well, it doesn't matter. I'm the good dude on those anyways, so I guess it's no big deal. If I was evil, I would have lost an opportunity to steal stuff unless I got to this point here. Now hey, look, I actually run by here and pick up 1470 gold because that was the house I've rented out. And I gotta go in here and I gotta go all the way up top. Away. Yeah, I guess I'll get that later. Whatever, it's no big deal. I'll get the silver keys after I finish this quest, I guess. Since I forgot to get them. At least, I think. Oh, yep, there we go. That's what the lighthouse is for. See, there's a lighthouse. And it obviously had some use. But, for some reason... <laughs> I, I do, I seriously think that I was right about them having this part of the game already added and then being told to remove it and release it as downloadable content later. Because there's just, there's too many things in the game that were already here. It's a slow time. I, oh, what the fuck? I just got hurted. I don't want to get hurted. Punch. I didn't even hurt it. What the hell? You're gonna get hurt when you hit that lady. Why are you? Okay, you're just standing there. Fine. Okay, when it's charging up the spell, I can't really hurt it. She's just standing there like a jackass. Oh, now she's attacking. That's weird. Did she steal my kill? No, she didn't. Good. 
Yay, more summoners! I think they're stronger than those guys with the two double-bladed sword thingy. I don't remember. I guess we'll go find guy. Let's go kill him. Slow time. Oh, hey, look! Double-bladed sword dudes. That I, I could steal the form of with my summon, but I'm not going to. I'm not even going to bother let my summon steal damn form anymore because I never use it. If I happen to use my summon, then big deal. It'll still farm eventually if I do use it. No, you're not blocking me. Ha 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 ha. Okay, you're dead. I want to kill the summoner, but I kind of don't really care. And, okay, slow time. That way he doesn't use a freaking attack. That hurts me when I attack. And he's dead. So, I'm stopping attacking and waiting for the experience because I want the experience. Because I still got magic and skill stuff to raise. But he hurry about an exploded. Ow. Didn't think that was gonna happen. Damn it. That sucked. I guess I'll stay away from them when they freaking die from now on. I was not expecting that. Kill you. And kill you as well. One more hit. There we go. Next up. Also, fast weapons, just because they're faster, doesn't necessar bleh, necessarily mean they're stronger. Uh, they have a better damage per second rating, but if things block you all the time, then it's technically weaker. Oh crap, oh crap, get away, get away. Ha! There we go. Wow, I should have killed those little sword dudes first. The double-ended sword blade dudes, whatever. I don't know why I didn't, but I didn't. Oh, yay! There's a ship in the water! It's a ghost ship! Sort of. Looks cozy, huh? Cozy. When you get to the northern wastes, you'll I think it's gonna teleport me there automatically, isn't it? Oh man, I hope not. I hope not. I mean, I hope not. Dude. If it does, I guess no big deal, but... I can't return until I discover... A teleport spot over there. Oh, hey, look, a cutscene with a ghost ship that. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's kind of funny. There's a ghost ship, and then. Ocar or Wind Waker HD has a ghost ship, and I'm going to be recording that as soon as I get it here. But by the time you guys are watching this, I've already got the Wind Waker HD done. But for me, I haven't finished or even began Wind Waker HD. Because I don't have it here yet. It's not the 4th. Even though it released on the 20th, the month before the 4th. But I don't want digital version and I can't afford digital version. But since it released that time. My guy's got a beard. It's really long. And it's still up at Hello Scythe. Told you he's not dead. He's alive. Uh, they totally forgot he got hit from behind. He doesn't even mention how he survived. He's just alive and there. And apparently he's also alive in Fable 2. And I don't know about Fable 3, but I think he's alive in Fable 2. Uh, Fable 2. Because if you decide to choose love and you really, uh, bring your sister back to life in Fable 2, then she ends up being with Scythe. Because he's the guy in the robes and stuff. According to Lionhead, if the information I read online is correct. Uh, I really, really want to just skip your text, but it's cutscene for the story, so I can't. Damn it. Okay, so he's told me some stuff. I gotta get my beard on this game cut. I think there's a chest over here. And can I break this? I don't know. No, I can't. Damn it. I think there's a chest over here. Oh, there's stairs up there, too. Teleport's up. Awesome. Since teleports up, I can leave this place and get some silver keys and other stuff. I got a diamond. Let's check upstairs, then I'll check over to that area over there I was running to before I got distracted with the stairs. And you're a regular chest. What's in it? There's a fishing spot over there. That's cool. I think that fishing spot actually has a... Uh, whatchamacallit? A silver key. But yeah, this is the final area that you can travel to. Well, one of the final areas. Let's go ahead and dig this. I think this is a silver key, isn't it? There's a bunch of silver keys in this area, because 
I think without the lost chapters portion, there's 25 silver keys in total. Then with, there's 30. And you take all 30, but you just give a crappy weapon that sucks. It really, it sucks. I think it does less than 200 damage, and I don't think it's augments or anything special either. And I forgot all about the silver or the treasure clues. I don't know if I have all those or not. Let's go ahead and catch this thing. I think it's a silver key. That means I'll have 23. Then I gotta go searching for others, and I'll have to mark these off my list as well. Er, as long as I'm not in a quest right now. I don't think I am. I think I can teleport here. Damn it. Stupid thing. Here we go. I caught it. Please be a silver key. Please be a silver key. Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Oh, your elixir. Oh, that works. Let me use that real quick because I don't really have a lot to save up for them anyways. Use. Yay. I don't think I saw a noticeable increase at all. Go figure. Anyways, let's see. Uh, let me save. Awesome. World save. That means I'm not in a quest and I can actually run around and get other silver keys. Let me check how many silver keys I got real quick and that will be the end of this part. Uh, actually, since that is the end of this part, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did enjoy the video, you can comment, like, subscribe, maybe share. That'd be awesome. I got 22 silver keys here, so that's pretty cool. And I'll see you guys in the next part or some other video. But until then, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Thank you for watching. Whee!